So I've known Billy Apple for some time and he's a really well-known pop artist and Billy and I have done a number of projects over the years and this was one that really caught his attention. So here's New Zealand as you can see and what we're all so familiar with but you can also see that there's these other colours here in the pale tan colours and, and uh, light browns. That's a continent that's recently been described as Zealandia, um, a newly discovered continent and about half the size of Australia. So you can see in, in actual fact New Zealand is quite a large landmass but mostly underneath the water. Um, offshore here is our um, exclusive economic zone. So this is about 200 nautical miles beyond every known piece of land that belongs to New Zealand, whether it be an island or the mainland itself. In recent times, going through the United Nations, New Zealand was able to extend its territory where we see these yellow lines. And this is known as the extended continental shelf of New Zealand. And this means that New Zealand, its sovereign estate, constitutes about 1% of the surface of the earth. Cornel Durand uh, one day was telling me about this wonderful project that he had been working on for some time to do with the extended continental shelf of New Zealand. It, uh, it was mind-boggling. And then I said to him, well, where's the centre, Cornell? Where's the centre? And he said, uh, we don't, I don't know, but I will find out. As it turns out, it's just over the hills in the Tararua Mountains. That's truly um, a surprise given that 96% of New Zealand is underwater. So we're up here on the top of the Tararuas. It's spectacularly beautiful up here. Uh, there's this bush everywhere and there's these great vistas of the Tararuas and down to Greytown and so on. So you might be wondering how we decided that this was the centre of New Zealand's extended continental shell. And if you imagine you cut out a shape that represented New Zealand's extended continental shell and you wanted to balance it on your finger, this point here, the centre, is the point that it would balance. It wouldn't tip to one side or the other, it would balance exactly on that point. So the centre of the plaque there shows the exact centre of New Zealand's extended continental shelf and that's the position we're at here today. So right now we um, are trying to get more people to come out and share and enjoy our countryside and having a landmark such as this put into place is going to be a great incentive Oh, I think it's a, a great project for, for Doc and GNS and, and Billy to work together to mark this point, which is a pretty significant point. Uh, and to be so close to a, to a public track, I think, is um, pretty special. So Billy created or designed this beautiful piece of artwork, and it's a place where people can go to, um, and you can literally stand on this point and know that you are standing in the middle of this really large piece of New Zealand's sovereign estate, a large chunk of the Earth's surface. The project is significant because uh, um, myself as an artist asking a scientist to, where is the centre of this discovery, um, it's possibly not a question that a scientist would go looking for it because you, it, it's a simple question but in fact very complex to determine where the centre is. <laughs> 